Uh, and since we last spoke, I was called to emergency state active duty, and my role for the campfire emergency was to serve and open up a mayor's cell at Joint Forces Headquarters in Sacramento. And the responsibility of the mayor and the mayor's cell is to make sure that A, the building has all the infrastructure it needs, the security, janitorial supplies, uh, HVAC living systems, and, and as well as the consumables so that the units can do their mission without having to worry about day-to-day -day issues. And also to help in-process and out-process service members that are responding to the campfire. And our main goal was to make sure that people who are coming in or checking into the emergency had all of their paperwork squared away and, and tidied up so that when they went out into the field, they could just focus on doing their mission and helping out Californians. And on the way back, we did everything possible to make sure that they filed all their travel claims appropriately, all their requests for reimbursements, so that those service members could go home and, and not go through a longer process to recoup money that was owed to them as part of their service. So the campfire was an absolute tragedy for the state of California. And we haven't seen a situation like this in the past where an entire community has been, uh, has been demolished by, by wildfires. Uh, it was very challenging. It was um, challenging emotionally as well as uh, logistically and, and, and every other aspect of, of life. So what we tried to do was focus on the mission and try to help out people as best as we can and using the talents that we have and the resources available to us at the state level to help out people on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, it was a wonderful opportunity uh, in hindsight to help out people that desperately needed help. Uh, but during the, during the re emergency, it was very challenging. When you decided to join the Cal Guard, is this the kind of thing that you anticipated doing? This is what I hoped to do. Uh, I wanted to help out people in, in the most challenging times and, and help out the greatest amount of good. Um, I certainly did not hope for a community to be uh, as affected by wildfire or any natural disaster, but if that were to happen, I wanted to be in a position where I could help immediately. And you are a state employee. How does it work getting time off and doing your second job? So the good news about being in the Cal Guard is that it's also a state agency and there is a California state military policy that allows uh, state employees to have up to 30 paid days from their home agency to respond to uh, natural disasters in California through the Guard. And with that, I was able to use some of my state time to make sure that uh, financially my family was taken care of as well as uh, work here at the office continued on uh, as seamlessly as possible.